I'm a flight attendant and the repetitive uh, motions of bringing the carts up and down the aisles, I found myself just almost incapacitated. I tried several over-the-counter medications. Um, finally, it got so bad that I did go to the doctor. I received a cortisone injection in my elbow and I did get relief from that, but it was short-lived. Um, lasted a few weeks, and of course that's a steroid. They can't continue to give you that sort of medication. I took, um, I took prescription anti-inflammatory medications, but it was there. I mean, it was with me all the time, and I don't like to take a lot of medications if I don't have to, and it's something that takes a long time to heal, and um, everything that I used seemed ineffective. My mother was suffering from osteoporosis, severe osteoporosis, and had the pain break, and she swore by it. She had numerous little fractures, everything that goes along with, uh, with osteoporosis, and uh, she urged me to try it. I was a bit skeptical at the time because I thought I had tried everything, and um, I was pleasantly surprised, very pleasantly surprised. I'm golfing, gardening. I like to ski in the winter time, it, and I'm sleeping at night. I mean, what could be better? I have varying ailments, uh, tendonitis, just sometimes just aching joints, uh, sore muscles, uh, that type of thing. More than anything chronic, it's more of an acute type thing. I have problems with it because I will overexercise, you know, overdo uh, skiing, inline skating, uh, you name it, water skiing and so forth hiking, mountain biking, and I come up with some sore muscles and some aching joints, and particularly one of my knees has affected me for some time because I broke the kneecap several years ago skiing. I'm always, every day, doing some type of activity, whether it's running or skating or skiing or, or biking, whatever it is, and uh, this is an opportunity for me to relieve stress and to uh, just enjoy uh, a physical well-being, and uh, when you're sore and hurting and uh, it affects that type of activity. I've been a, a follower of Stevens products for a number of years. So when it came on the market uh, some time ago, I was introduced to it through a friend, and I said, well, I think I'll give it a try. And uh, the place where I had the greatest pain and uh, discomfort was my knee that I'd injured, as I mentioned, in the skiing accident. And uh, I tried it there, and uh, uh, it was almost instantaneous, perhaps not instantaneous, but it was very quick relief, and I was convinced right then I'd found the right thing. I uh, do telemark skiing, which is a lot of genuflecting, a lot of knee bending. Uh, it's like going down the mountain and doing hops all the way down the mountain, and uh, you're hopping from one knee to the other, and so what I like to do is, since my knees in that particular sport are particularly stressed, I like to apply it before I go, and then, uh, if necessary, follow it up when I come home. But many times, just applying it in advance really helps. I have no discomfort when I'm skiing, and uh, if there is some because of over overstraining or something like that, uh, I will apply it just topically, rubbing it on when I get home. I'd say, well, I'm, uh, I could probably get older and sore and stiffer than you do, and it works for me. Give it a try. I am a professional golfer and um, occasionally I get some muscle pains and stuff due to the practicing that I do. When I get my muscle pains, it's usually after a real stressful s uh, schedule of golfing and uh, also an intense practice session. Usually I can't sleep at night when I'm hurting, so I use this product. It's just incredible. I used to have a bad sciatic that I went to a doctor for, and I've tried, he gave me a lot of pain pills, which I didn't like. Um, also, I've tried a lot of other uh, big name products from the stores, and they, they don't work for me as, as well as the pain break does. The pain break usually kicks in in about like 30 minutes. Feels great after that. <laughs> when I first heard about this, I just thought it was going to be the same type of medicine that I've been using before, like off the counter and stuff. But when I started using it, it really worked for me, so I decided that this is the one. I won't use anything else anymore. Pain break has made a difference for me in that I'm more free in what I decide to do. I, I think I could practice a lot harder and longer because I know that 
afterwards I could just rub a little pain break on on my muscles and I won't be sore the next day. Um, I know that after I use it, after I rub some on, I could sleep easier because it just relaxes my whole body and it makes me feel a lot better. So I wake up in the morning feeling really good. One of the things I've learned about some of the natural ingredients in Stevens products, the jojoba oil in particular, and avocado oil, for example, is that they are very high quality and they're in short supply. For instance, avocado oil costs about 10 times as much as mineral oil, and jojoba oil costs more than 15 times as much as petrolatum. So Stevens costs more because it costs more to make. But remember, you get what you pay for. A total pain therapy goes beyond mere medication. Dr. Boysen Burkle has prepared a helpful reference guide that discusses pain and its management. And here to introduce you to the doctor is Emmy Award-winning writer, television producer, and director, Jay Bartlett. It is a great pleasure to be here today and to introduce Dr. Boyce Burkle. Dr. Burkle is a 22-year emergency room doctor who is now the medical director of Stevens Skin Softener. The Steven Skin Softener has three ingredients for our audience, a video, a pain management uh, that tells, has our testimonies, shows you how to manage pain. We also have a resource guide which was written by Dr. Burkle as well as, of course, the pain break. Now I'm going to talk about the resource guide and go through it and then you tell me how to manage pain. What is pain? There's where we can start. What is pain? Pain, believe it or not, is a very frustrating thing to both patients and physicians alike. Pain drains you of energy. It robs you of sleep. It makes you irritable. It leaves you depressed. Yet, nobody really knows what pain is. In fact, the only person who knows what pain is, is you yourself. It's yourself right. Pain is what you say it is whenever you say it occurs. Um, well, you have a little saying here in your, your, that starts out here. It says, Charlie Brown in the Peanuts comic strip once proclaimed, pain is where it hurts. Is that about right? And you're pain exactly right. Pain is where it hurts. Pain is where it hurts. You're and exactly right. And so that's exactly what we're looking for here, is something to stop the pain because pain is where it hurts. Tell me why Pain Break is such a great new product. Well, there are a number of reasons why Pain Break is good. Um, for the treatment of pain, there are many things that are available, uh, but they all come with complications. Uh, first of all, uh, people with arthritis and things like that have to use medications that, one, upset your stomach, right. two, make them bleed, in fact, uh, most blood transfusions that occur in hospitals have nothing to do with people bleeding from accidents, but have to do with people bleeding as a result of taking medications for their arthritis and conditions like that. The other thing with uh, pain medications is they have a tendency to affect one mentally. They make you drowsy, they make you mm -hmm. sleepy. So if you can find something for pain that works and works effectively without complications, without side effects, that's ideal. And that's where pain break comes in. Pain break is something that you apply on the outside. Um, one may think that applying something on the outside is not effective, but pain break is unique in that it avoids the complications. You apply it outside, and it is very, very effective. OK, now, when I was talking to you earlier, you mentioned that pain break was a derivative, actually, of the Stevens Care uh, skin softeners that it's the basis for it, or it is the, tell me ab about that. Okay. I mean, it, it's behind the pain break. It's, it's what, you it had this out for many, many years before you came up with the pain okay. break. Stevens Skin Softener is a unique cream right. that's basically designed to help dry skin and over 50 skin conditions. It works effectively because of the unique, mostly natural ingredients in it that help it penetrate deeply into the skin. Uh -huh. Now, Stevens Cream is the base for pain break. We put the active pain ingredients in Stevens Cream, oh, so the cream takes the active ingredients, 
down into the skin where the pain is, where so, the inflammation so is. So first, you, you had the Stevens skin softener out for many years, and so you knew that that was such a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful product. Exactly. And so you put the pain break in the softener. Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. So that, so that, that you didn't invent or create pain break just as pain break. It had already been created sort of as a skin softener. Exactly. Okay. Stevens cream was created as a skin softener. We found it so effective in the way it acted and the way it penetrated the skin. We felt that if we put the active ingredients for pain, pain. treatment in right, there, right. it would give fantastic results. And we were not disappointed. What a great idea. It's always the simple things that nobody thinks about, isn't it? Exactly. Always the little things. Exactly. Now, there's two different kinds of pain that we know from experience. There's acute and there's chronic. What's the difference between acute pain and chronic pain? Okay, acute pain, very, very simply, is usually specific pain, a specific location. Chronic pain is a little more diffuse. Uh, acute pain is pain of short duration. It doesn't last long. Uh, chronic pain is pain Well, give me an example of acute uh, pain. A, a, an acute pain would be like an acute appendicitis, let's say, an acute gallbladder oh, okay. attack. Then after the surgery, um, it's over with. Exactly. Uh, a, a pain from an injury, you, 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 you cut yourself or right, you stick right. yourself with a needle or something. Uh, that's acute pain. And chronic uh, is? Chronic pain would be a constant pain, like pain from arthritis. Injury, or, 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 uh, or, or pain that's lasted for three months or more okay. uh, would come under the classification of chronic pain. Acute pain is usually associated with anxiety. Okay. Chronic pain is associated with depression, depression? frustration. <laughs> right. Um, so, wi so which one does pain break work for, pain acute or chronic? Pain break uh, will help acute pain uh, as long as it's surface pain. It won't do anything for your appendicitis. If you oh, have, no, no, you no, have no, that no. kind of pain, you <laughs> want to go to the doctor right, <laughs> right away. Exactly, you don't want to be using right, pain right, break. Right. But if you, uh, it was designed specifically for chronic pain. Uh, the pain, long-term pain. Long -term pain. Long -term pain. The pain that causes the frustrations that people have, the pain that uh, people get into all the complications from the medications they have to use, the pain that makes doctors frustrated in that they really cannot find something adequate to treat the patients with. Right, you were talking to me about that earlier. You said that you got, when you were in the profession, you got so frustrated because you couldn't help your patients. You couldn't yeah. answer that pain. Exactly. Um, I work constantly with a feeling of unease. unease. There's the unease in the sense of uh, not that you want to judge patients, but you know who is coming in with legitimate pain, right. uh, who is seeking right. drugs, right. Uh, who really um, who really needs this pain medication, mm -hmm. and then on the second hand, you're thinking too, what complications am I getting these people into? Uh, is this the one that's going to bleed? from what I prescribe right, him. Right. There's always that sense of right. unease. Um, what makes pain break, uh, makes me very, very comfortable with pain break is all those things have been eliminated, all those concerns. You don't have to all worry about that anymore. So, exactly. So that, that brings me to the next question is why did you get involved in pain break? And I guess that answers it. That answers for it. For us in part in that you were frustrated with, with what was going on with pain and you needed, and especially being an emergency room doctor, that's, that's, you see a lot of pain in an emergency room. Yes, you see a lot of pain. And um, the physician of the future is going to treat patients with natural medicines. Uh -huh. And I was always on the lookout, always on the lookout for natural things, things uh -huh. that would work, but things that would work without the complications and things that would work right. in harmony with the human and, and body. The, and the human. Uh, so pain break answered that question right. exactly. Wow. Okay, now you wrote this resource guide to as sort of a total eclipse all the way around. Uh, and the next thing that you mentioned in here is faith. What does faith have to do with pain break? Okay, I'll, I'll back up just a little bit if you okay. don't mind uh, before talking about faith. Um, when a person has pain, chronic pain, he has to learn to cope with the pain. Right. And uh, there are two important things that one has to do uh, in coping with pain. One has to have a certain attitude, and then there are certain actions that one has to take. Right, right. The very first step, though, the most important step, the most difficult step, but the most important step, nevertheless, the person who has chronic pain uh, 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 have to take is 
a realistic acceptance of the fact of the pain. The fact that he is going to have pain. For the rest of his life. For the rest perhaps. of his life. Right. Especially if he has a chronic condition like arthritis right. and uh, uh, those kinds of things. I know I was telling you that, that uh, 